What is up everyone, my name is Dag and welcome back to another video. So, the other day, I was sitting around thinking, hmm, what would be a good video idea? When suddenly, BAM, I remember a video that I did back in 2018. And this is top 15 characters that need to be in Super Smash Bros. 5. This video was released way back when we still didn't know that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was going to be called Ultimate. We only knew that it was a new Super Smash Bros. coming to a Nintendo Switch. These are 15 characters that I wanted to see in the roster. So let's see how many of them I actually got right. And remember, this video is almost four years old. Before we start, I just want to give a huge shout out to What's wrong with my boys? Well, I guess, well, purity, but wow, and my room is all white. I, wow, now, now, now it's filled. My friend Eliza for making this amazing. Ooh, that drawing. Uh, I still have it. That's when I used that avatar and I used it for a very long time. Really cool drawing. I actually love it. I love it. It's a pretty cool drawing. Ever since Nintendo released the trailer for Super Smash Bros. 5, everyone has been wondering which characters are going to be in it. Of course, everyone's wondering which characters are going to be in it. It's not like we have the complete roster with Sora being the final fighter. I got excited for Sora. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Quite a lot. Honestly, but before we start, I have a couple of rules. Oh, oh, we, we, we have rules. We have rules, okay? Rule number one every character needs to come from a video game. Yeah, okay. That means no Shrek, no Goofy, and a Why did I choose Goofy? Damn, why not? Especially. No Goku. Uh, no, no Goku. Every character needs to have appeared in a Nintendo console. That means no Master Chief, Oof. no Kratos. Okay, okay? That, that doesn't you that doesn't apply now. They don't necessarily need to have appeared in a Nintendo console. I think Joker did not appear in a Nintendo console before Smash. They, then they added Persona 5 Strikers. But before Smash, I don't think Persona was in the Nintendo Switch. So that, that's interesting. Third and final rule. I'm not counting comebacks. That means that characters that have appeared before in previous Smashes, like for example, Wolf, the Ice Climbers, and Snake. Okay, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. And still, we got them. So good. <laughs> we still got them. So whatever. So with that out of the way, that let's start the way. with the top 15 characters. Number 15. Here we go. Rom. He actually made it. He actually made it. I remember reacting to this. Yes. Yes, I wanted Krom. Oh my god. Krom is my favorite Fire Emblem character, so I'm glad he's in. So I actually got this one right. Let's go. I know, I know. Another Fire Emblem character. <sighs> Let's move on. Blastoise and Venusaur. Blastoise and Venusaur. Okay. Okay. I, I want you guys to listen to the idea that I came up with in this video because it is actually an idea that I think could work in a future Smash game. First of all, I love Blastoise. He's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time and, and I really... Yeah, Blastoise is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. My favorite one is Squirtle, so yeah, go figure. I believe it would be very cool to have the third evolution of the first starter Pokemon. Wouldn't it be cool to have the three starter Pokemon all lined up in your shell as an amiibo? Number 13. Okay, so I think I didn't mention it, but my idea was like to include an Echo Fighter that would be blue. So we have red, you know, he's the main guy, and then we have blue. And blue would have, for example, I don't know, Blastoise, Bulbasaur, and Charmeleon. I, I think that would be a pretty cool idea. Toon Zelda. Toon Zelda. Yeah, that, that, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work anymore. 
She can do the same things as normal Zelda, which by the way I hope she has a Breath of the Wild outfit. We didn't get a Breath of the Wild outfit, but that's fine. But when you down smash, you can transform into Tetra. Like Actually, that's a pretty good idea, Nintendo write that down. Down smash could be that she transforms into the Phantom. We actually got this. Uh I still don't remember the the Phantom. We still got it in Zelda's Down Smash, so that's actually pretty cool. That in some way I was kinda right at uh, bringing uh, the Phantom. At number twelve we have Daisy. Let's go. We actually got Daisy as an Echo Fighter, as all of you probably already know. Yeah, and and I think I just simp for Daisy for the rest of the of the section. So let's move on. At number 11, we have Skokie. I'm still mad that we do not have Skokie in Super Smash Bros. Yes, I know he's a trophy, yes, I know he's a me outfit, but still. I do believe Skokie will be a great character. This is actually the character that I voted for in the Super Smash Bros. ballot a couple of years ago. That's true. That's very true. Is the main villain of the Real Soldier Majora's Mask, which by the way is my favorite game of all time, and I already have a moveset plan for him. His attacks can be like Mewtwo's, you know, with his mind, he can control things. Um, yeah, that, 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 can, that can work. Or the mask can extend arms, I don't know, like whips, so like when you want to hit somebody, you have the mask, the mask goes like Vroom! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh my god. And his final smash. Okay, you don't even need to hear me do this, but his final smash is basically bringing the whole moon down. Great final smash. At number 10, we have the Dark Souls Knight. And uh, did we get an amiibo custom? of Dark Souls. I think I just wanted the representation of the series, not the actual character, but still. Did we get the me custom? I think we did, yeah, yeah. We did, we did, we did. Yeah, we did, we did, we did, we did. Let's move on. At number nine, we have Waluigi. <sighs> Nintendo, you're, <laughs> you're making my man Waluigi dirty. Yeah, he's a trophy, but still, we still need Waluigi. As his trophy, Waluigi. Number 8, King K. Rool. Ooh, my boy, King K. Rool is actually in the game, and he's one of my mains. Everyone wanted him in the game, so it's it comes as no surprise, really, but still. Pretty cool, and he's actually in the game. We need him as a playable character. And besides, if Mario and Link can have their enemies in Super Smash, why not Donkey Kong? Good point, and that's why he's in the game. At number 7 we have Captain Toad. Captain Toad. Yeah, for a character that cannot jump, yeah, I'm sure he would be great for Smash. Back in the day, I had an obsession with Captain Toad. That was the only game that I wanted on the Wii U. So that's probably where this comes from. Uh, nowadays, I don't think he would be a great character to be in Smash. But they also had a Piranha Plant, so... I don't know. Maybe one day in the future, this could work. He's been in Princess Peach's pocket for a long time. <laughs> True. <laughs> At number 6 we have... Crash... Why did I spin like that? I, I look almost like that guy from the Book of Boba Fett. I'll try spinning, that's a good trick. Yes, you heard that right. Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, Crash... Crash would be cool, Crash would be cool. I still... T I will take Sora every day over Crash, but... Still, Crash would be cool. At number 5, we have Ridley from the Metroid series. Another highly requested character that I am so happy he finally got in. Going back to the argument 
of uh, King K. Rool where Link and Mario could have their arch nemesis in the game, why not have Ridley? So, we actually got him, so I, I, I'm very happy about that. At number four, we have Springman. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We don't exactly have Springman, but we do have Min Min. And like Sakurai said, uh, there's no, there's really not a main character for ARMS. Sure, he's the face, but he's not the main character. So either way, it still works. We have Min Min in the game. Man, into Super Smash Bros. I mean, Springman already fits in a fighting environment. True! And his alternative costumes can be the other characters. More like that the could also be lead. true. For example, we can have Ribbon Girl, we can have... Master Mommy. Yeah, you, you get the point, you get the point. Still, that would be, that would actually be pretty cool, but still happy we got Min Min. And number three, we have Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm actually very happy that this didn't turn out to be true, because even though Rex is a great representative of the Xenoblade Chronicles series, I think Pyra and Misra add more sauce <laughs> into the game. Uh, more diverse and more fun, especially with their with their whole changing feature. So I think that that's way better than anything Rex could have offered into the game. So I'm very happy that we got Pyra and Mithra instead of Rex. Uh, he'll be a great addition to the cast. Okay, sorry, I'm going all Super Mario. Oh my God. <laughs> Next, next. And number two, this is going to cause some controversy. Sans. Sans? Yeah, Sans. In this video, I go way too in depth on what his move set should be. So, if you want to check that out, yeah, the link to the original video will be in the description. Uh, but actually, I'm very happy that we didn't get Sans as. The character but more as a me costume with megalovania as a song i think that fits more into the character if that makes any sense also there are some amazing custom stages for undertale so look them up if you haven't already and they're great to play with sans in them so yeah actually having sans in the game as a me costume i think it works it works perfectly and i think nintendo did the right call there now, before we get into number one, let's have some honorable mentions. We have honorable Knuckles mentions from the Sonic series. Me costume? Paper Mario. The... What's that, Uganda Knuckles? Do you know the way? Okay, yeah. Paper Mario. Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow? I think that's also a custom. Or maybe not. I I'm not sure. But he's a trophy. He's a trophy. Banjo Kazooie. He's actually in! Even though he's from Microsoft. That doesn't matter. Steve from Minecraft. What did I say that way? Steve from Minecraft. He's in. And I'm happy about it. Yes! That Skyrim guy. <laughs> that Skyrim guy. That Skyrim guy actually made it as a me costume as well. I cannot remember his name, but his final smash could be like. You know, that would be cool. God. Rayman. Rayman. We didn't get Rayman. Amaratsu from Okami. Or Amaratsu. I don't know, I really just want an amiibo. <laughs> and finally, Ken from Street. We actually got Ken. <laughs> okay, wow. Most of the other mentions made it in. Interesting. <laughs> it's fighters. And now, finally, for number one, we have Shovel Knight. I was a big Shovel Knight fan, even though I never played any of the games, and I still haven't played any of the games. I still consider Shovel Knight a pretty cool character, and I do plan on playing his games eventually. But back then, I was watching gameplays, playthroughs, trailers, listening to its music, so pretty much everything Shovel Knight related, I was looking into that. So that's why I wanted Shovel Knight so bad in the game. We didn't get him as a fighter, but we did get him as a trophy. So I still believe that's pretty cool, uh, considering that it comes from an indie source, so having his presence in some type of way in the game, 
I still think that's pretty cool and deserving of the character. My personal top 15. Which other characters would you like to see in the next Super Smash? Feel free to tell me in the comments down below. Until next time, bye bye. So, anyways, uh, wow, what a what what <laughs> what a crazy top 15. Very interesting decisions as well. Still, I prefer the characters that we have right now uh, over most of these. I still want Waluigi, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with the characters that we that we got. So anyways, this was a fun little video. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. See ya! Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe!